Dolomite is a volcanic rock. It's kind of an aluminosilicate that is heated to about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit or about 1000 degrees Celsius. That heat causes molecularly bound water that's contained within the rock to convert over to steam, which causes a rapid expansion of the rock. So it's kind of like popcorn when it exposed heat, it explodes out. And the result is what you see here are these little white hard pieces of material that are very lightweight. The purpose of adding perlite to a growing media is simple. It's to reduce water holding capacity and also to increase air porosity. So the physical properties, as mentioned with the purpose, is it greatly increases the air porosity of the growing media. It also helps reduce your water holding capacity so your mix can dry out more rapidly, it doesn't stay waterlogged, you get better drainage. The coarser or the larger the particle size is, the more drainage it's going to introduce into the growing media as well as more air porosity. If you have real fine dusty perlite, you won't quite get those same properties. In general, perlite is very good for plant roots. Now plants need both air and water. So when a root is in a, in a growing media environment that contains perlite, there's going to be a lot of oxygen that it can, that it can easily obtain. So it'll help the plants to grow healthy root systems and therefore the roots are less likely to succumb to root rot pathogens. Perlite's also a great component to add to a mix because it introduces a lot of oxygen which helps with rooting of cuttings. A lot of times we put cuttings under mist or we water them very frequently so that it's a very saturated environment so you need to have some natural oxygen in there to encourage uh, root development. It's very lightweight, it's hydrophilic meaning it doesn't require a wetting agent to wet it up and it doesn't compact over time at all. Uh, we do recommend that when you water it, you don't blast the container with water because sometimes you get the perlite to float to the top. It is possible that in the mixing process, when you're fluffing a bale of mix, it's possible you might get a little bit of crushing of the perlite with the mechanical parts, but in general, it's not a huge problem. And again, you don't get any breakdown in the growing media over time. As far as the chemical properties of perlite, it is inert, meaning it doesn't really provide any plant nutrients. So it's very low EC or electrical conductivity. And it doesn't really provide a significant source of fluoride, contrary to some old urban legends. The pH of, of perlite is very neutral. It's about a 6.5 to 8.0. So you don't really lime peat, or I'm sorry, you don't lime perlite when added to a mix. But at the same time, it's not a buffered pH, meaning the pH of the mix is not influenced too much by the perlite content. By the perlite content. Perlite also has a very low cation exchange capacity, so it doesn't have the ability to retain nutrients. And as a result, you don't have to worry about any, it, any changes in your fertilizer regime. And it's also free of, of chemicals and herbicides since it is a rock. As far as biological properties, it doesn't contain any natural microorganisms. The heat treatment to produce it actually will destroy all those microorganisms. So it's a very sterile product that's pathogen free.